Hi, my name is Tim Dayton, and welcome to Tim Talks. I'm the executive director of REACH, a nonprofit located here in Roanoke, Virginia, and we're involved in sustainable community development. Today, my talk is entitled, What Are You For? And I'm going to talk about our fascination, fascination with fear and hate as a way to fix our world. Now, I'm not very political, and perhaps I should be more political, but you don't have to be political to see all the hate and fear being drummed up in this year's election cycle on both sides of the aisle. Granted, there's a lot of passion and energy being generated in this year's selection process. Energy, I assume, that will propel one of the candidates to the presidency, which I suppose is their goal. But what will we do with all that energy in the form of hate? I can only picture it as an open gas can spread carelessly within range of a bonfire where one small misguided spark will ignite everything. Regardless of who wins, everyone loses. Having never been a fan of horror movies, I don't understand our love affair with fear and hate as a way to handle all of life's problems. In fact, I'm not very crazy about looking at them as problems either. After all, we were originally called the land of opportunity, not the land of problems. Isn't it time we quit spending all of our time and energy on fear and hate and blaming someone else for all of our opportunities? Oh sure, there's lots of blame to go around and there are lots of things I wish we would change. A lack of honesty and transparency would be at the top of my list. Crime and bigotry, or whatever they call it nowadays, uh, wouldn't be far behind. But coming up with this list is way too easy and places the responsibility on someone else. And how is this working for us? Is our world any better for this expense of time and energy? Mine isn't. In fact, somehow it seems to be getting worse. What if we actually went out and did something positive? What if every day we did a little something positive? What if everyone did a little something positive? Now, now that's sustainable and more like, it's more like a small cooking fire that can be kept burning and productive with little chance for catastrophe and endless possibilities for dinner. And by the way, energy spent against something you don't like is not what I call something positive. What are you for? What is it that you've done that makes you feel good about yourself when all is said and done? These are the questions we should be able to answer. I imagine most of you are like me. I'm tired of feeling like I wasted another day when it's time to go to bed. That the world is no better off for having known me. Let's not waste another day. Thanks for listening. Have a good night.